Hello everyone, this is another um, episode here of the Tomb Boom Tip of the Week and this week I want to show you about how to rig an eyeball and there's a variety of different ways of doing eyeballs in Tomb Boom software but I'm showing you kind of a neat rig today that is going to make use of a mask or a cutter module to um, cut off the iris with the white of the eye. Um, and I'm going to start out today in um, the first video here by showing it to you in Animate Pro and Harmony. And even if you're an Animate customer, I recommend watching this one first because it's a little bit more visual to see what's going on in the network view. And then it's going to help you with your understanding of what's going on when we show you how to do it in Animate. So um, I'll just show you first here what I prepared in terms of artwork. Um, I have several different drawing layers here and let's take a look at them in my drawing view so that I can isolate those drawing layers. So I've got one, my first um, drawing here is my eyelid drawing and my eyelid drawing uh, consists of the outline which is the black of the, um, of the eye there around the outside and it also consists of, just for fun, I did a stylistic little sort of um, pink part of the eye there and then I've also got the white of the eye and in this case I made the white not 100 percent white because you always kinda wanna have your and same thing with blacks you always kinda wanna have your blacks so that they're not all the way down to zero just because it looks better when the blacks aren't completely black and the whites aren't completely white um, and then the next drawing I have here is my iris so it's pretty much just a circle and I've put a gradient on there for fun and I've added some little you know um, ticks there on that one and then in my case here, I did a separate drawing for the pupil and for the highlight, which you won't be able to see because it's white on white, but you don't need to have a separate drawing for the pupil or the highlight, but the sometimes, you know, most of the time you'd do them all as one drawing. But I just thought for fun in this case that I would do them as separate drawings to show you that if you had a shot where you needed to have the size of your pupil expand, then you can create your pupil you know, as a circle there. And if you stick your pivot point with your pivot tool, actually I'll show you how to do this properly. So let's go in our um, drawing view. And then if you select that, um, that circle drawing with your select tool, when you select your pivot tool, then um, you see how it makes this box with the circle in the center. It's kind of smartly trying to tell you where the center of that is. And this only happens when you, when you make that selection. So now that you've made that selection and it shows you this bounding box, you can really put the pivot point sort of smack dab in the middle there. And then when we go back to our camera view and we animate this, you can see how since the pivot point is in the center, when you hold down shift and use your transform tool, you could make the pupil get larger or get smaller. So if you have a, a tight close-up shot where you need to have some really cool rig on the eyes for some reason, then this is a good alternative. If you're not going to be animating the pupil, then don't make it a separate layer because, you know, it's just going to give yourself more um, a headache later on. But it is really cool if you're having a close-up shot. And sometimes you might want to have maybe like your standard sort of swapped pupil um, in for your cutout character. And then you'll have a separate rig of the head for a close-up shot that has some of this more um, detailed rigging in it. It's, it's up to you, really. Um, so now that we've talked about the pupil, let's talk a little bit about how to animate this thing. Uh, because right now these are all separate elements and um, first of all I want to make sure that I have a peg layer that I can use to you know make these three elements in the center move together. So I'll just add a peg layer on my pupil there and since we're working in um, Anime Pro or Harmony we can use our network view to organize things and uh, by the way I'll just turn on my network view toolbar here so that I can select the last um, node in the in the um, network down here and then I'll do an order network up which is going to order the network up from the bottom to the top and then now I can see this here and for those of you who are using Animate and who aren't familiar with the network view um, I'll just explain briefly that each one of these layers in your in your timeline is represented by a module in your network. So I can connect my pupil to my iris, I can connect it to the highlight, 
And now when I select that peg, I can animate all three of those elements together. Um, but now you'll notice when you're animating that, you'll see that, you know, you're animating your pupil off the edge of your eye and you, you, see, the, you see the iris off the edge of the eye. And that's not terribly useful because we would, we would prefer if this can cut off automatically when it reaches the edge of the white. That's going to serve us better in the animation phase because we won't have to go back and make any adjustments on those eyes. Okay, so if we want to do that now, this is where we're going to start using some effects to achieve this. And this is when it becomes really useful to have this built-in compositing in your animation program because it allows you to use effects on your character rigs to achieve certain looks. So let's say in this case, if we want to first we to cut off the iris with the edge of the eye, first we need to isolate the white of the eye because on my drawing layer, I have for my eyelid, I have the white of the eye and I have the black and I have the um, little pink bits there. So first I need to isolate the white of the layer. And um, when I'm doing that now, I will just go into my module library, which is where I can find my effects. And I can add my um, color override effect in here, which is going to then give me the ability to isolate that drawing. So if I um, just hold down the Alt key while I'm dragging this, it's going to snap that in there. And now I have the color override module connected to this. So the reason I wanted to show the Animate Pro and Harmony Way first is because you can see when you're looking at this in your network view, it's very visual about what's happening. You can see the connections. You can see that now I'm taking my eyelid and I'm plugging my eyelid into my color override. Um, when you do this in Animate and you're working in a layer-based system, you can still do it, but it's just that it's a little bit more difficult to see visually what's going on, and I'll show you that one after.